Do an operational check on a 172. First thing, of course, make sure we got necessary paperwork, the right checklist to use this on this airplane. Make sure we got a posted fire guard out here. Following the checklist, exterior pre flight was done. Seats are adjusted. We can reach the brakes and set the parking brake. We can reset that again. Set the parking brake. Remove the gust lock, very important, remove the gust lock. The reason I made this is for the number of pilots who tried to fly with this thing installed. Everything's off, even though we have external power plugged in. The selector rotated to both. Go back and forth to feel for the detent. Since we're not flying, we don't really need the trim wheel in neutral, but it's already set in neutral. Before starting engine checklist complete, now starting engine, mixture rich, carburetor heat cold, the engine's hot, we don't have to prime it. Beacon light on, tells people on the ground we're getting ready to start engines. Throttle, since this engine's already hot, we don't really have to go too far. Not only look outside to make sure that prop area is clear, that nobody's walking up to the airplane, but make sure our person on the ground gives us a call back. Prop clear! Rotate the key to start, just like starting a car. Adjust the RPM as necessary to bring it down to idle. Our oil temperature's already warmed up, which is good. Beacon light on, we'll turn the radios on. A lot of larger airplanes will have this set to ground control in the event we got a problem. Suck in a mechanic, engine fires, we can contact ground control to call 911. Everything set, we have oil pressure within 30 seconds. Oil pressure's at 60, oil temperature's hot. Fuel gauge is trying to read on the right. It's a little fluctuating there. Make sure none of the microphones are keyed. There's no transmit button. Idle RPM checks. We'll go ahead and check the ignition switch. We rotate it from both to left. Should hear a little RPM drop. Back to both. Two clicks to the right mag. Little RPM drop. Back to both. That tells us the wiring's working correct. Now we'll go to off, and this will tell us that our ignition switch is grounding out properly, so if you spin the prop, it should be safe to move. After our ignition check, we'll check mixture, pushing this lock button, slowly pull it back to cut off. This is how we shut the engine off with the mixture. We look for a rise in RPM. Before it quits, push the mixture back in. No rise in RPM indicates it's lean. A slight increase, but 
more decreasing. This is what we're looking for, about 25 to 50 RPM. All right, again, looking around, make sure the area is clear. We're gonna accelerate to 1700 to do our performance check. Once the propeller stops, we burned all the fuel in the cylinders. We can turn the key to off, pull the key out, master switch off. Take the parking brake off in case we want to roll the airplane around. That's it. All right. 